around uh, the Black Plague. Welcome to the last New Zealand van life vlog that I have for you guys. It's quite long, but there's so much in it, and I hope that you'll stay and watch all of it. And if you could give it a thumbs up, and also the other New Zealand videos a thumbs up, because they meant so much to me. And we're gonna get into my now day life soon in the next video. But in the meantime, just enjoy this one, and I love you guys very much. Thank you for being on this adventure with me. It smells so beautiful out here, and it's very calm and soothing. It's like a dream state. There's a lot of places here that just feels like it's like a dream. So we're gonna have our coffee, um, and then we're gonna go find this beach. Hopefully we'll see some seals. Our daily routine involves us drinking our coffee after we wake up in the van, doing our makeup a little bit, and then going out on some sort of adventure. Today's adventure is looking for seals on the beach, and then going to the biggest steampunk town in the world. Like unreal. Like New Zealand is the most beautiful place that I've been to. Seals, wait, wait. The high tide is is coming in. Hurry! The tide was coming in just as we got there, so we had to hurry to try and find the seals before they left and before we got stuck. We did find the seals, and they were so cute and beautiful. One of them had a little boo boo, but. They were everything I wanted. I've never seen seals up close like that before. So that was a very, very, very magical moment for me. That's so lazy, just sunbathing. I really appreciate the beautiful moments I had in New Zealand. And I am planning more travels to more beautiful countries very soon. If you guys could help by watching and supporting, I would love that just to show you more of the world after all this COVID stuff goes away. All right, we got what we came for. The, the tide is like completely in now, so we had to rush back before we get trapped out here. Maybe it's easier to put it down. Cause I'm twisting, oh, there we yeah. go. Woo. We don't need it, man. No, we oh. don't. Ah, uh, yes, it's still, still. kind of. So we're gonna be freedom camping tonight because it's too late to find a campground and I mean, look at this. I mean, you can't get a better view than that for free. There's no bathroom, but there's a picnic table. So we're gonna see if we can stay here tonight without getting in trouble. This is the bathroom. Just go in there, but like, there's a nice clearing right there for the bathroom, but like, be careful. Oh. <laughs> Gotta pee in the bush. We went to the gym earlier again off of our seven day free gym pass. So that's how we can work out for free. Anywhere you go really, you can find a gym that has free passes like that. And so we did that to again today. So we got two workouts in already being here. And now we're gonna stay at a free campground and we got groceries too. We also went, you know, and saw the seals and everything, which has been a good day. So now the sun's pretty much setting and we're just gonna um, make some food and go to sleep for the night. I'm gonna wash my face too with a bottle of water. One thing I really like about traveling is coming up with new ways to do my routines. Um, having Asperger's makes me really routine based and I still do them everywhere. It's just kind of fun. It's like a puzzle of how can I do this in this circumstance. It's weird. <laughs> While freedom camping, we don't have an actual bathroom, so we do have to go to the bathroom outside. And every time one of us wakes up, we automatically accidentally wake the other one up. So it's kind of a very strong bonding situation though, and I really appreciated that. Also, with freedom camping, you have to figure out beforehand where you're allowed to be and where you're not and we didn't get in trouble or anything for camping alongside the road like that. Good morning. 
so um, I didn't really sleep hardly all last night because there was like a lot of vehicles like driving really fast by it kind of it rocked the van like every time they would like drive past did you notice I don't know and then and then for some reason like I kind of like half slept a little bit but then I left my window open and I was scared that someone was gonna like put their hand in it and like I don't know she made me scared of things I, I usually I don't oh, no. I don't get scared of because my hand is right here and if they chose to like put their hand in the window and open the door like I'm just there <laughs> so I just did it the whole night in fear <laughs> but we need to like wash our face and stuff and wash up so we're gonna do this castaway style and we're gonna go down to the ocean to do that because we can do that I found out that washing your face in the ocean is the best skincare routine that I can ever give to you. It's very refreshing and I mean that. Breakfast. You said I will listen. When you're finished, how so we took it in terms. To my surprise, we found my words. We stood hand in hand. Okay, we are here. We are now in Oamara. I think that's how you say it. And it is the steampunk capital of the world. So we're gonna go and look at the free steampunk stuff. There's like a museum thing, but we don't want to pay for anything. So we're gonna go to a steampunk playground and then walk around the Victoria-esque style um, town area. Just waiting on this slowpoke to drink her coffee. That's me. I'm done. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Would you apologize? <laughs> Steve Pong. Before I came to New Zealand, I never really equated steampunk with New Zealand, but it has the largest steampunk capital of the world there, which is very interesting because I am absolutely obsessed with cyberpunk. It's very different than steampunk, but it's still similar enough, and it's very, very, very interesting. I highly recommend that you guys visit. This place is so cool. There's so much cool stuff here. Like... Okay, so today's plan is to dress up in the Victorian era garb and um, be Victorian, because I am Victoria. This is essential to do today. So we get to choose. Oh, I like that. We have lots of options here. Okay, so I'm gonna choose, we're gonna choose our dresses for this right now. Well, that one has a nice butt. I like that. So this goes on the butt? Yes. Oh wow. I, I might not need your jacket as well. Yeah, I'm gonna... Here, let me just... Also, if you're obsessed with the Victorian era, like I kind of am, I grew up watching BBC a lot because my mom was also in it and my name is also Victoria because of that. <laughs> but I, I recommend going and there's a lot of different places to dress up as a Victorian era person. Bear in mind, it's actually a wash day. Very appropriate. You don't have to dress like this. Test, test it. You need to show them. All right. You look wonderful. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at me. Yes, I am fancy. Well, hello. Friend, Madame. 
What is the gossip of the town? I'd like to know. Um, what have you heard about Sir James? James. He's a doll. <laughs> oh, has he proposed yet? I haven't heard anything. You look like Kieran Knightley. <laughs> She's always in these types of movies. <laughs> I haven't heard. I heard that he was seeing Emily. Oh. But don't tell. I don't think it's common knowledge quite yet. We'll keep it to mum. Yes. I'm sorry. I know you were into Sir James a bit. I was yes. devastated. Uh, I can't, I can't tell by your face, but we do have to keep our composure <laughs> of a lady, you know. <laughs> so I was thinking about Charles. And then I just, he just has that wonky tooth. <laughs> I can't get past it, I'm sorry. There's not a lot of selection in our town. <laughs> <laughs> we're ladies, we deserve more. <laughs> like with this type of ass. <laughs> <laughs> There's right tea now. cups down there and you can sit oh, here and have tea. Perfect. It's going around uh, the Black Plague. I hope that it doesn't come around to us. I would not enjoy the black. I would, I would sincerely yeah. not enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I feel it would be quite unenjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> you just look so beautiful in your new polka dotted dress. How are you still alone? What do you guys think? Should this be my new style? I'm really digging it. The last thing on the list to do was to visit the steampunk playground. An amazing experience, 10 out of 10, highly awesome. recommend. This is what? What? What is that? That is amazing. Okay, we're, doing we're doing it, it yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Slide has a steep incline with rapid descent. Oh, look at that, guys. What? I mean, not fish, fries here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> well, it's almost closing time, but we were able to get some chips. We have 15 minutes. And one last thing to mention, and then I'll stop raving about New Zealand, is that their chips definitely are my favorite out of anywhere that I've had them before. That's a lot of fries, too. Um, I've been going through some stuff that have been, that has been absolutely horrible and horrible and horrible and I can't say what was going on but the last two days in my personal life life whatever I had to deal with some really um, serious things but um, this is the coming to the conclusion of our New Zealand van life road trip and before I left there's one thing I really wanted to do we have one day left we we're parked on the side of the road free camping because uh we want to save money it's a lot of flies around and i tried to get down to the lake but i could not so i wanted to shower i haven't showered for a couple days because it's just kind of been like all over the place so i want to try to shower with a shower bag <laughs> like we wanted to do a true camping experience and i don't have a lot of water but i do have a shower bag she's just gonna watch from right there <laughs> like a creep <laughs> i have my shower stalker in my shower <laughs> So this is the shower that I wanted to use and I was just going to put some water in it and I'm going to uh, try and cleanse myself of the last few days because it's been really hard. So you guys don't need to ask about what's happening but it's... This road trip has been absolutely amazing and gorgeous and beautiful but there are still things going on behind the scenes in my life that I still have to deal with and it's really sad and really hard. So to cleanse that I'm just going to try and shower with very, very, as little water as possible along the side of the road. It's gonna be an adventure. It always is. No matter whether you're traveling or whether you're not, life's always a crazy, sometimes hard adventure. These flies are killing. But oh, that was about half the water I had to use. <laughs> oh no. Okay. We just had a mishap. What's new? <laughs> so. This is 
going to be a great shot. With the like, there's about this much water. <laughs> yeah, like this is the, this is the amount of water we're working with here. First, we're gonna do the most important thing, and that is wash my face. So I'm using this cleanse all nighttime routine. <laughs> I wish this was up a bit more. So, in order to conserve water, here's a fun tip. Like you put the face wash all over your face first. I'm gonna put a dab of shampoo in my hair. This is getting adventurous because who knows if we'll be able to rinse all of it out. That's the beauty. So you just get it all suds up. Maybe use like a tad, just a drop of water. You guys think that you can't be clean and fresh and stuff on the road, like you're wrong. You just have to put a little more effort into it. <laughs> or you could be lazy like me. <laughs> so we're just we're gonna we're gonna substitute some with uh, big whips as well. So <laughs> Hello? I'm awake. <laughs> the videographer is not having it today. <laughs> she refused to go in the lake with me, so this is what she gets. <laughs> hey, we couldn't even get down there, okay? There's like a lot of flies and stuff that are biting my legs, so like I'm just trying to like clean that. And this is deodorant all over. I've been wearing this this top for quite a few days. Okay, so now we turn the spigot on and see what happens. Is that you add the This is quite a slow flow. Why did it shut off? Okay, this is quite the adventure right now. Okay, so this is cleaning the bod in the wilderness. Did look you away, look away? I need to clean my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, come back. <laughs> Alright, so make sure you clean. Is that a good one? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't get to finish the rest of that shower, but it all went fine. <laughs> um, and I'm clean now. The, my camera keeps dying. So that's how you shower, shower out in the wilderness with just a tiny bit of water. Um, fun tips. You can take care of yourself like a lady out in the wilderness. Now I'm going to paint my nails. One of my nail polishes exploded in my suitcase. I only have two nail polishes right now, here. but we're doing our best to be ladies. Because when you're two girls traveling in a van, you gotta still be ladies. That's the adventures of two girls in a van. 